Okay, welcome back everybody. Here's a little instructional video on how to add categories to your gradebook and then start taking some grades or creating some grade columns in your Schoology class and then use it as an electronic gradebook. Great. When you log into Schoology and click on courses, you're going to see you will have a literacy course. All you do is click on literacy. And then when it loads, you're gonna, your screen's going to look like this. You have no materials in it. We're not really adding materials or anything else. You can click on members, and then you're going to see your class list right there. All right? Now, you're in your Schoology course. It's your literacy course. And the first thing you want to do is click on grade setup. When you click on grade setup, the only thing you really have to worry about in here to start is adding categories. So the first category we're going to add is writing. You do played by total points you can put percent but we want total points and then just click create what it does is it puts that category in. we're going to add three more categories that's going to align with the report card and it's going to be vocabulary click create you click the add button again we want to make one called comprehension And then the last one we're going to have is speaking and listening. That's all you're doing. You're adding these categories. You're not going to weight the categories. You're just adding one, two, three, and four. And that's it. You then click back on gradebook. You're going to notice here's your gradebook. You will see all your students on the left-hand side. We're not, we're not going to worry about this right now. And you're going to see this little plus sign over here. And you're just going to click the plus sign. And you're going to go to the bottom and add a grade column. We are not going to add assignments in our gradebook because assignments are given a specific date. And they're just chock full of stuff we don't need. We're just taking a grade on an assign on part of our wonders program uh, for each student. You add grade column. And then we give it a name. If you notice already, I've added a few for a different class we were doing. Uh, we want to stay cons we want to stay all on the same page. So I would suggest you name it Wonders Unit One Dash Vocabulary. Whatever the category is, I would put it in the assignment's name or the grade column's name. That's all you do. And then the category is right here. And I would say, hey, I'm going to pick one of these categories. Click writing. And before you click create, you want to just put four here because that's all the numbers. We're just giving it one out of four. One, two, three, or four. And all you do is click create. And there it is. There's our first assignment. I'm going to give uh, maybe that was a three student and that was a two. And that's all you do. I'm going to put a second one in here. I'm going to call it, uh, I forgot what I did. I used comprehension before. I don't know, but I'm going to give it a four and click create. Oh, I forgot to give it a category. Comprehension and click create. And now I'll, I'll put another grade, a two and a one. The power behind this all is at the end, or if you need a report on a student, okay, oh, it's missing over here. You, you, you know, I'm looking for three dots here. Let me refresh this page. Those three dots will come up. There they are. When I click on those three dots, I say, hey, I want to print a report. And the report would be for the first grading period. And I want a report on two students. And when I generate that report, this is what it gives me. There's Goofy and there's student one. This will allow you to say, hey, in comprehension, they're working uh, a two out of four. So they've achieve that much of their competencies and then in vocabulary, there it is. Right now, don't worry about this percents, okay? Don't worry about the percents at all. We're just looking for this. This is a report, you can see, and then at the end of the quarter, you're gonna be able to simply input these by hand, unfortunately, into eSchool. All right, I'm gonna click back on Gradebook. And at the end of the semester, if I click on all materials here, what I wanna do by category summaries, Look what it says. 
gives me writing, vocabulary, speaking, comprehension. Don't pay attention to these numbers right here. We wish they could stay a three, a two, or four, but they can't. But right now I know 25 is a one, and a 50 is a two. 75 would be a three, and of course if it was 100, it would be a four. Alrighty, go ahead, jump into your literacy class, and put those four categories in, and then you can start creating grade columns. Not assignments, just grade columns. Alrighty? Okay, hope this helpful. Thank you.